Welcome back Marble Sports fans to Fubeka's Marble Runs. We have another friendly race for you guys today with 16 countries competing for the championship. In today's race we will have two slalom type sections down to two different types of maze section all made by Hubelino and then the last part is more of a wooden type section that will uh, definitely be a different speed for these marbles down to a rubber funnel type section to the end of the course we'll have to see how these marbles do in today's race we have the standard four groups today group a b c and d group a will have uruguay brazil peru and colombia and we're off and it is colombia off to lead being followed by brazil and then uruguay as well as peru down there in last place colombia is still in the lead and uruguay has caught up now they are in first place and Peru as well Colombia and Brazil are falling down through these slaloms and now it's time to enter the maze section it is Uruguay who gets there first then Colombia and let's see who gets into the white section first looks like it's going to be Colombia and Colum they all three go at the same time and they're all bouncing around and it is Uruguay who gets first Brazil in second Colombia and Peru get eliminated in this first round that last section with the rubber band funnel is definitely going to be a point of the race that you're going to want to watch for the rest of this video as uh there were a lot of overtakes right in that specific section of this race now for group b vietnam sweden canada and indonesia and we're off and it is canada in the lead but they get pushed aside by all three of the other marbles and it is uh, Vietnam and Sweden, as well as Indonesia now, who is in first place. Canada gets stuck. They are not going to be able to advance out of this round. They are stuck on the track. And there are no marbles behind them, so they're going to be staying stuck. No one's going to be able to dislodge them. Indonesia and Vietnam are still fighting. Indonesia comes out first. They're having some trouble on the rubber bands. They are able to get first place. Vietnam is in second. Sweden is lagging behind in third place. There's no chance for them to... Uh, be advanced out of this round but at least they can finish which is not something that Canada can say in today's race so Indonesia and Vietnam will be advancing Sweden and Canada will be staying and uh, eliminated out of this round Vietnam and Indonesia will be going against Uruguay and Brazil in semi-final A and now it is time for group C Pakistan, India, U.S., and Italy, and they're off. And it's Pakistan and the U.S. who are in the lead at this point. But uh, uh, USA is still in the lead. And look at that. Pakistan gets stuck, but then they get hit, and they're still stuck. Two stranded marbles in two races in a row. What a uh, unfortunate event for these marbles. The U.S. and India are still fighting up in the front. U.S. comes out first. But they bump on the rubber band. India takes first place. USA still advances. But Italy is still coming up far behind. They will be eliminated as well as Pakistan, who is stuck on the track just like Canada in the last round. You can see those rubber bands. If you enter the funnel wrong in that section, you will be bouncing quite a number of times before you finally get into that uh, small opening where the end of the course is. That's not what you want to do in these races. And now it's time for Group D. Mexico, Argentina, Spain, and Chile. And we're off. And it is Argentina off to the lead. But Mexico takes the overall lead at this point. And it is Argentina now who comes up into the lead. And there are a lot of changes at this point. Let's see who gets out first. It is Spain. Spain is trying to stay ahead of Chile at this point. Chile has taken... A uh, good lead, but now Mexico is in the lead. And now let's see who comes out and gets into the white section first. It is Mexico. Then Argentina. They're all bumping around. Mexico has advanced as well as Spain. Spain and Mexico will be advancing to the next round. Argentina and Chile for the marbles that are eliminated in this race. Now it is time for semifinal A. Uruguay, Brazil, Vietnam, and U Indonesia. And we're off, and it is Uruguay who is off to the lead, but quickly he is passed by Brazil and Vietnam. And uh, Brazil is off in the lead at this point. There is a lot of jostling for positions at the beginning of some of these races. You have to keep an eye out for that. And Brazil gets stuck on the track. 
Will they be dislodged by Indonesia? We'll have to wait and see. But Uruguay is, is still in the lead. Vietnam coming in at second. Brazil does get dislodged by Indonesia. Definitely an act of kindness from them. Uh, let's see if they are able to catch up. Maybe the rubber bands will be uh, Brazil's saving grace. Vietnam bouncing around as well as Uruguay. But Brazil is not able to come up and take second place from Uruguay. And they will be uh, eliminated as well as for Indonesia. Vietnam and Uruguay will advance to the finals. Now it is time for semifinal B. India, U.S., Mexico, and Spain. And we're off. And who is off in the lead? It is the U.S. and Spain being followed by Mexico and India. Farther behind is the top two and the bottom two. If the bottom two want to advance, they really need to catch up like they are doing right now. The top two still want to stay up in the lead. And the U.S. and Spain are the ones who are... Uh, both of them get stuck there. But they are able to uh, come up and uh, get some more speed. The Mexico has taken the overall lead. And they are bouncing around in the rubber bands. And U.S. comes in at second. That will eliminate India and Spain. Mexico and U.S. will be the other two marbles who are advancing to the finals. And now it is time for the final race of today's video. Uruguay, Vietnam, U.S. and Mexico. Who will come out on top in this tournament? And we're off yet again. It is U.S. and Vietnam who are get the early lead. But it is Mexico who is up there as well. Vietnam is lagging behind quite a bit. No, no. That's Uruguay who is back up in the back. And Vietnam and the U.S. are battling in the front. Mexico needs to catch up if they want to get a higher spot than third. U.S. is in the podium spot right now. As well as for Vietnam. Will U.S. be able to take the gold? Here we go. It's, let's see if they can. Bouncing around in the rubber bands, and they take the gold. Vietnam coming in at second. Will it be passed by Mexico? They're stuck. No, they won't. They will. Uh, Mexico will take third. Vietnam gets second, and Uruguay gets fourth place. Vietnam getting stuck right before the funnel, uh, just allowing Mexico to push them into second place. That's definitely savage. These were definitely some amazing races today. That rubber band section at the end of the course can make or break your race. And that's really what these marbles that uh, came up in the final were the best at. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place in this tournament. A definite grind to get here passing through three rounds to become champion. Some marbles were not so fortunate like Canada and Pakistan getting stuck on the track not making it past the first round. Hopefully they do better in the next tournament here on Quebec's Marble Rounds. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place. Vietnam coming in at second and Mexico in third place. Mexico and Vietnam getting some good places. But today they all aspire to be the USA who won the overall championship. An interesting note is that the U.S. actually did worse in the first two groups compared to Mexico. Mexico got first in the group stage and in the semifinal stage, but as the U.S. got second in both of those groups. But they did eventually win the overall championship. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And stay tuned for the next Marble Run tournament. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. Until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,